एवरीवन आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग रियली रियली वेल एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डू अ इंग्लिश पोएम फ्रॉम योर बुक फर्स्ट फ्लाइट टाइटल्ड अमेंडा सो दिस इज अ रियली नाइस पोएम विद व्हिच यू कैन रिलेट योर लाइफ एज वेल मे बी नॉट नाउ बट सिंस व्हेन यू वर चाइल्ड मे बी एट दैट टाइम your parents might have said you not to do this not to do that sit up straight do this do that don't sleep get up brush your teeth do this do that again and again and you might have felt that oh these parents don't they have any other work always scolding and complaining about me since you were small naturally these thoughts come to your mind and now as you are matured you understand why did they do that So similarly in this poem we have around a 10 to 12 year old girl we will consider her to be of this age and her name is Amanda so now let's see the line by line summary of this poem don't bite your nails amanda don't hunch your shoulders amanda stop that slouching and sit up straight amanda so this lines are may be said by her father or her mother so let's consider it to be her mother and the meaning is really very simple because this the language that is used in the poem is really very simple and understandable so firstly in the first three lines her mother says her that don't bite your nails that some children have the habit of biting their nails so the mother says her that stop biting your nails or don't bite your nails and don't hunch your shoulders now hunching is a practice that some people practice or some people do they have the habit of hunching their shoulders so her mother says that don't hunch your shoulders amanda stop that slouching and sit up straight amanda so now slouching means a lazy or a pale way or a motion in someone like someone acts in such a way so her mother says her that stop that slouching and sit straight there is a languid emerald sea where the soul inhabitant is me a mermaid drifting blissfully so whatever you will find in bracket inside this poem is generally the thoughts going on in amanda's mind she thinks that she's a mermaid and there is a calm big emerald sea in front of her where the only person alive is her that means she is alone living in that peaceful environment and she thinks that she is a mermaid and she is really happy she is drifting blissfully that means she is really very happy to be in that kind of environment did you finish your homework amanda did you tidy your room amanda i thought i told you to clean your shoes amanda So these three lines are again told by her mother or father. So they are telling her, "Did you finish your homework? Did you clean your room? And I told you to clean your shoes. So did you do that?" So the meaning is really very clear. I'm an orphan roaming the street. I pattern soft dust with my hushed bare feet. The silence is golden and the freedom is sweet. So these are again the thoughts going on in Amanda's mind. She thinks that she is an orphan roaming in the streets. Now this is quite a different thinking by Amanda but then again she is a child so these type of thoughts coming in her mind is quite natural. She thinks that she is a orphan who is roaming in the street and with her bare feet she is making some kind of patterns in the dust. When we were children we also used to love to make different drawings and patterns in the dust and mud that we used to go through. So she is also doing in the same way. and she says that the silence is golden and the freedom she has got is really sweet now this means that she feels that there's no one around to complain about her to tell her to do this do that clean your shoes don't hunch your shoulders don't bite your nails clean your room this that so she feels that there is no one who can question her or complain about her and that freedom that she has got is really very nice and the silence is really nice Don't eat that chocolate Amanda. Remember your acne Amanda. Will you please look at me when I'm speaking to you Amanda? And I think the last sentence is really very relatable. So again her mother or father are telling her that not to eat that chocolate or remember your acne. So don't do anything because of which your acne might get more deeper or might increase. And some children have habit of not looking at their parents or just trying to ignore the scoldings that they are getting. So at that moment, Amanda's mother or father is telling her that, "Look at me when I'm speaking to you." As we all have done this in our childhood, and we have got plenty of scoldings as well. Okay, so now let's see Amanda's thoughts. I'm a Rapunzel. I have not a care. Life in a tower is tranquil and rare. I'll certainly never let down my bright hair. So firstly for the people who don't know the story of Rapunzel I'll just give a small idea about it 
Rapunzel is a princess or a fairy basically who has very long, strong and bright golden hair. And a witch had locked her or imprisoned her at the top of a tower in which there was no entrance or no lift or no ladder or nothing. And the witch used to visit her sometimes and at that time Rapunzel used to let her golden hair down and because it was really strong, the witch would climb up using the golden hair and would enter the house. And Rapunzel always wished that sometimes she could come down and look the beautiful world beyond that tower. But our Amanda wants to become a Rapunzel and she doesn't care if she is locked or imprisoned. She just wants to be in the tower so that never no one could come up and disturb her with whatever she is doing. And she says that she will never let her golden brown hair down so that someone could come and scold her. She also says that life living in a tower is really very peaceful or calm and it is quite rare. Stop that sulking at once Amanda. You are always so moody Amanda. Anyone would think I nagged at you Amanda. So here again her mother or father is saying her that stop that sulking. That means sulking means a gloomy or a dull attitude. So stop doing that. And you are so moody Amanda. So stop being so moody. Become a little calm. Be become a good girl. And her mother or father is saying her that if, if you behave like this anyone would think that I have nagged at you. I hope you know what is nagging. Nagging in the sense always complaining or scolding. So her mother is saying her that anyone will think I have nagged at you. And actually her mother has nagged at her. We have seen all that since the whole poem. But according to the parents, they nag at us or they scold us sometimes for our good because we should get good manners. We should learn to be clean and tidy. But according to Amanda, her mother is continuously nagging at her. So we can't really do anything. So now this poem is really over here and I hope you understood each and everything. And this poem is written by Robin Clennon. I'm sorry I forgot to discuss the poetic devices with all of you. So here is a slide in front of you where all the poetic devices are written. You can learn through this slide and perform good in your exams. So bye, take care and I'll meet you with the next chapter in the next video.